Everybody, Captain Mike here for Ribs Fishing, and it's the end of the season, and I thought I'd make a video about winterizing your boat. I'm going to start with one of the easiest ones, and that's the freshwater system. Okay, the first step is to empty the freshwater tank. So I'm just going to let this run and so the pump empties out the tank. While that's happening, I'm going to talk for a minute about the RV antifreeze that we're going to put in there. This is uh, RV and marine antifreeze. We are going to put that through all of the water systems, including the engine uh, cooling. I got this from Home Depot. You can get this from Walmart. Uh, don't get it from West Marine. I think it's like 10 or $11 at West Marine and it's uh, under $4 from Home Depot or Walmart. All right, we've already emptied out the fresh water tank. Now we're gonna proceed to pour the RV antifreeze. into the water tank. Now, don't be a cheapskate. Pour the whole gallon in there. It just save you six bucks by telling you to go to Home Depot or Walmart. All right, that's good. Close that up. It's very important you know where all your freshwater spigots are and I have four one here in the cockpit one here in the transom one here at the cleaning station and then lastly one here in the head and this what you're gonna do is basically turn turn on each spigot until you see the pink antifreeze coming through and we're going to do that to every single one and you can see i'm starting to see it now that's good that whole system now has the rv antifreeze in it i'm going to come back here That's good. This one's going to be a little harder to see. There, I shot some on the gel coat, so now you can tell. So that one's good. And last but not least, this coarse one. And you can see the pink. All right, that's it for my freshwater system. That is winterized and ready to go. All right, we're here at the underside of the boat and you can see next to one of those rollers is one of the intakes for the raw water system. And obviously we're on the port side of the boat. I have a similar one on the starboard side. And both of those are adjacent to rollers on the trailer. And why that's important is because they sell a plunger style flush tool that will uh, hug up against the side of this intake and allow you to pump antifreeze uh, through that system uh, easily, except for if you have a roller trailer and the rollers are kind of uh, in the way of that intake. If you have a bunk style trailer or maybe your boat is on boat stands, you may be able to use one of these tools. Just check for clearance before you decide to either buy one or make one. So we're here in the bilge of the boat and you could see uh, down here we have two live well pumps and that's where those intakes that we saw under the hull of the boat are feeding. Um, 
Now it's important that we find out where the water goes from these intakes or from these pumps. And if we follow the, this is the only line exiting this pump. And if we follow it up, we'll see it comes and feeds the starboard side live well tank. And that's the only thing that side does. So that's going to be really easy to flush. Uh, here on the port side, we could see that there is one line coming out of the top of the pump. If I follow that up, we'll see that feeds the port side live well tank. So if we go back to the pump, we'll see that there's another line exiting this pump and it feeds my raw water washdown pump. So now we need to determine where the output from the raw water washdown pump goes. And if we follow this line out, we'll see we have a joint here. This one is going to over to the transom to a uh, silcock that's over there for the hose that we use in the trans in the cockpit area. And then this hose continues forward to the front of the boat. Ultimately reaching the anchor locker where there's a hose that we'll need to flush as well. Since I can't use the plunger style flush tool, I'm going to use this uh, gravity feed engine cleaning kit I got on Amazon. And I use this on my wave runners, I use this on the outboards, uh, and absolutely you could use it for your raw water system as well. I previously installed a new raw water pump, including installing a hose end fitting onto the output side of the live well tank, and we'll utilize that to flush this side of the system today. In order for to do this, we actually need to shut off the through hole fitting. We're basically running the uh, uh, antifreeze backwards through the system, and we'll get it in through the top of the live well here. So we'll be able to fill this live well pump. It'll come down here into the pump as if it were input from the uh, underwater pickup. And then we'll be able to pump it through my nice new SureFlow raw water washdown pump. Fill the jug with antifreeze and attach the hose to the live well fitting. Don't forget to turn on the raw water pump. One is in the anchor locker. Water pump on. I just run the hose at the forward anchor locker until I see the pink antifreeze coming out of it. Uh, shut it down and that hose is done. My final spigot is the one at the transom and just run that till I see pink come out and the port side is complete. On the starboard side I'm going to use a different method just to show you there's more than one way to do this. This is a uh, gear oil filler neck. Get it on Amazon for 10 bucks. I'll have a link in the description. Um, it fits gallon jugs, fits quartz jugs, uh, it's got a little on-off valve, it's uh, really neat. Um, here I'm using it to uh, insert the antifreeze into the filler uh, portion of the live well and it's going to drain straight down into the pump and because I have the um, seacock open, it's going to drain right out of the intake. So. Instead of coming from the outside and going in, I'm going from the inside going out. Okay, we're going to pour some in the toilet itself. We're going to pour some down basically every drain we got. Okay, we're going to do our fish boxes. Do that drain. This fish box. Run the antifreeze through both fish box pumps and then go around and wipe up any excess antifreeze that you spilled on the deck. And you're done with your water system winterization. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and tight lines.